with the DSC on 101.5 joins us now. Good to see you, my friends. Good morning, San Diego. Thank you for inviting us on to your TV station here today. And uh, we are going to return to Battle of the Sexes today. We're going to bring Emily and Lauren together can for I? the ladies to square off against uh, Mark and Paul. Yes, <laughs> Mark Mathis. Can, I, can we make this gender neutral? I want to be on Lauren's team. <laughs> hey, right, don't blame hey, you. hey, 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 hey. These two are very sharp. These two are very sharp. It's, it's going to be a tough battle. Before we begin the contest, uh, I just want to say uh, it was a real treat for me yesterday. I came over to say hello to the, I think he's the king, the grand high exalted mystic Poobah, Mr. McKinnon <laughs> yesterday at KUSI, and we were having a nice visit. And then all of a sudden, the lights got kind of dim, mm. and the focus got kind of soft, mm -hmm. and everything smelled like cookies, and in waltzed. Lauren Finney and came in to say hi to us and we had a nice chat and uh, we even posed for pictures and have you seen the picture that we took Lauren oops <laughs> yeah that, that tongue is I, uh, I should have I should have uh, been standing on the other side <laughs> Unfortunately, I noticed it after I shared Tommy Sablon's posting of it. And, uh, one happy uh, logo. Hall of Famer. Isn't I should have worn my Pablo though? Cruz t-shirt. <laughs> What's that? Uh, anyway, oh, funny. it was a nice little meeting with you yesterday. It was wonderful and to meet you in person, Quite a Dave. shot. Nothing intentional there. Thank you, dear. There. Same to you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, probably. All right, here we go with Battle of the Sexes. It's a real simple game. We've got three questions for each team, and uh, the way this works is it's three questions for the ladies that most men would probably know very easily, and vice versa. And we'll add up the score at the end here and see who's won. Remember now, the ladies are already ahead, one to nothing. Right. And I have a tiebreaker in case we do have a tie here, which, as Mark Mathis has already pointed out, is most unlikely. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Mark, are you feeling good today here? Come yeah, on, Parker. Yeah. Are you feeling strong and carry yeah, the team? We, we got Come this. on, Parker. Come on, we got this. this. We got this. Here we go. Ladies, uh, with your victory last week, you get to go first. Here we go. Question number one. Golf's Masters Tournament is coming up next week. What is the nickname given to the difficult 11, 12, and 13 holes? You know What's this, the Lauren. nickname? Amen, amen Corner. Amen. You got it. Amen Corner. You win. Yes, it is. Thank you, Lauren. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is a men corner. Last time with uh, what was her name? <laughs> Phoebe something? Phoebe Cates? Phoebe. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fellas, it's one to nothing. Here we go. First question for the guys: What is a scrunchie? That's your question. <sighs> What's a scrunchie? Something I, you hold your, he the, your the hair, your hair together. Thing that puts all your, your you hair hold, with. Put your put in your hair and it like puts it in a ponytail or that something. That is correct. You win. That is absolutely correct, Lauren. I heard it right away. <laughs> the universal sound easy. of a woman not agreeing with it. <sighs> Mark wears the old one every night. Sound. <laughs> night. I have one on now. <laughs> All right. Look at his luscious. It's supposed locks. to go on your head, Mark. All right. Here we go. Next up. <laughs> oh boy. Ladies, when a man when a man is drinking shots of go lightly, what is he planning for? Go lightly. When a man is drinking shots of go lightly, what is he planning for? A baby. Emily, I don't know. A baby. I, I like that answer. Sure. That oh. is incorrect. Go lightly is the delicious concoction oh. that a gentleman drinks <laughs> when he's having a colonoscopy. Oh. Got to try it. And it's you get to stuff. drink a whole gallon. Of it. You get to drink a whole gallon. Yeah. Of it. yeah. <sighs> Yeah. It's a good time, isn't it, Paul? That's what that sure is that they gave me last night. <laughs> Been a tough morning. <laughs> Restrict your oh, radius. <laughs> Did either of you two know that? Yikes. Yes, because I've uh, you, you, I'm probably the only one here okay. who's had one. All right, TMI. Got no. It. All right, here we go, guys. This is your chance. This is your chance to take the lead, guys. Here we go. This could be a victory oh, no. today. Okay. Uh, medical question for the guys. Ladies will visit their OBGYN. What does that stand for, OBGYN? Well, the last part is gynecologist. Yeah. Uh, uh, what's the OB part? Uh, OB. Uh, well, obstetrician. Like obstetrician. Ga gynecologist. Obstetrician. All we have is yeah, victory no. for the guy. Oh, no. Uh oh. Oh, no, Lord. Wow. Did I count nice the guys job, out too early? Lady. Hey. Hey. Oh, my I goodness. An obstetrician slash gynecologist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, 
that. He knows what side his bread is buttered on. <laughs> Here we go. Ugh. This is your third question, ladies. Are you ready? Yep. Yes. In the great classic film Caddyshack, Bill Murray is fantasizing that he is winning the Masters Tournament, and he gives himself a nickname. Oh, no. What is that nickname? You need this to win, ladies. Otherwise, the fellas are going to have their first victory. I can picture him going mm -hmm. up. Come on! What is the nickname he gives himself in Caddyshack? Oh, come on! I'll give you three seconds, girls. Carl. Carl. <laughs> Carl is not correct. The nickname he gives himself, he's a Cinderella right. boy. Cinderella story. Looks like he's got about a shovel. And it's in the hole. The Cinderella story. And that is a victory. Winner. 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 Winner.